Welcome to Grow Your Greenhouse. In this episode, I'd like to show you where I'm at with the Dutch Bucket Solution to Planting. And I'd like to throw a thank you out there to Good Old Corner Bakery, a local restaurant that gives free pickle buckets away. That's where I got these six bright yellow pickle buckets. And I've got them in position about where I want to and you can see the white drain pipe on the ground. It's uh, not connected yet but I'm going to be able to connect all these to drain into the drain pipe and then also they'll drain into the big tote on the ground but I've got it buried all except four inches. That'll keep it cooler in the Texas summers here and I'll put the Eco 264 pump in it and we'll be able to pump into the Dutch buckets with that. And I'll be using a, a perlite mix and containing it with the five gallon paint strainers. And then I've got half inch PVC pipe that I'll be drilling and installing the grommet holes and putting the PVC pipe in for the drain at the bottom. And what I'll do, I'll set up the tripod to show you that in the next episode so you can see how I'm approaching my draining system with the Dutch buckets. And so in these buckets I'd like to have probably four tomato plants and then two jalapenos and I'll be able to grow the tomato plants up to the ceiling and using uh, the yo-yo strings to uh, help them along their journey as we grow delicious tomatoes for ketchup, salsa, and other wonderful pasta type products. Well, that's it. What I'd like to show you today is how to drill out the Dutch buckets to get ready to put the drain pipe in the bottom of them. So I'm going to show you drilling them and getting the rubber grommet in and then we'll move on from there. Basically you could use a wood bit or a mortise bit but you want to drill a one inch diameter hole two inches up from the bottom because on the inside when we put the half inch PVC elbow it's going to be able to stay just a little bit off of the bottom of the bucket without having to put any more half inch pipe inside of it. And so here we go to drill this out. And after you drill it, you want to clean up the edges. You can take your pocket knife around the edge. Just clean that plastic off. We won't have anything that would cause it to leak. And then we'll put the grommet in. Picked up the grommets at Granger, the rubber, and they basically have a groove in them that you can slip it inside the hole. And then when you put the PVC pipe inside of this, it will really anchor it in. I'm going to also glue these in a little bit with some clear polyurethane glue. That way we'll just in the future never have any issues. And that's the grommet hole and then I'm, I will take a little bit of liquid soap and put it inside of the hole here so it allows the, the half inch pipe to slip in a little more easily. And when you're doing that then you'll have a, a job that will look a lot better and it'll be easier to put in. Put a little bit of liquid soap around the inside of the hole and take your time pushing the PVC pipe in because it's going to be super tight. You want to twist it a little bit while you're holding the grommet until you slip it in. Doesn't have to go in very far. Just about like that. And then take and put one of the half inch PVC pipes on it. You don't have to use any kind of glue. Squeeze that on there. And when you turn it over, then the water will fill up to that level before draining out of the pipe. Then the last thing you do, since I don't know my exact measurement, I need to cut the uh, PVC pipe off so that it will be a little bit longer than I need and I can cut it back. But do you, you can use your uh, PVC tool cutters. It's real easy. You just start to squeeze it and it squeezes all the way through. It cuts that off. And then once that's done, then you can put, continue putting them in your row 
as we get ready to connect the drains and put the half inch pipe uh, down into the drains. And I'll continue on these and get all these finished. And that's the bottom part of setting up the drain for the Dutch bucket system. And thank you for coming to Grow Your Greenhouse and we'll see you next time.